Okay, so something that students find difficult, especially when we go on to looking at AC circuits, is, I mean, in the, normally you've got a couple of wires, maybe a positive and a negative, but now we have a, a neutral and an earth and a live, and it's, I think for a lot of yep. students, they just don't understand why there's an earth wire in, yep. in these circuits. So, Absolutely. what have you got here? Um, and, and also, particularly, how they work together, how the fuse fits in with it, all sorts of things like that. So, yep. uh, this is a demo that was uh, originally suggested many, many years ago, um, back in, I think, almost the 60s, and it's the sort of thing that some schools have, I think, if you had that textbook back in 1960, whenever, yep. and uh, some schools don't, and if you haven't got one, it's really, it's it's relatively easy to make, mm -hmm. um, day or two for a, a fairly skilled uh, person um, to make as long as you've got the kit. And once it's together, it works incredibly well. And it just turns teaching about earth wires and fuses, particularly the way they work together, yep. from being something very abstract and dry and uh, chalk and talk mm -hmm. um, based to being really practical and, and pupils can actually uh, get as close as possible to actually seeing it happen. So we've got a wooden board um, with a set up on it of, uh, in this case, a kettle, a person. Uh, there's a light bulb in the person's uh, tummy um, and uh, that's so you can see whether any current is flowing through the person and therefore if they're getting an electric shock. Yep. Um, the kettle has an element, uh, as kettles do, that's made out of uh, uh, nichrome wire which will get hot when we switch it on. Mm -hmm. And using the same uh, colour coding as you get in an earth wire, we've got a piece of actual mains cable. Uh, yeah. And we've got the live connected to the right hand crocodile clip, neutral connected to the left, and the earth wire connected to the metal outer casing of uh, the kettle. And I think something here you've got... Um you're making sure that the outer casing of the kettle is a bit of insulation there? Yeah, just to make sure, as of course you would in reality, just to make sure that the power supply connections are in no way uh, going yeah. to make the casing become live. Um, the person is also stood on the ground, so in this case electrically connected to the ground. Yeah. Um, and we'll just turn the whole thing around now, uh, actually just before we do. Uh, We've got this going into a plug socket, uh, an actual plug socket that we've uh, that we've taken apart. Oh, so you can actually see what's inside. So there. you can actually see what's inside. And the only other adjustment we've made is that the um, instead of an actual uh, fuse, uh, cylindrical fuse, we've actually got a piece of fuse wire, and you'll see why that is in a moment. Okay. Uh, because we want that to be permanently plugged in, we've just got a couple of bits of blue tack uh, there. We've taken out the central holding screw, and so you can just push that on, and it's. A lot of things got into to take off. Uh, uh, it has actually changed a little bit. If you, um, th this whole thing was uh, the subject of a paper in uh, physics education, yeah, in uh, early 2017, um, and uh, you can see that back then we actually had a slightly simpler setup, okay. and it was only really uh, after this had been published we were we were doing a bit of a review and thinking how could we change it, and it seemed uh, that uh, it would actually be nicer to have it as an actual plug socket. So since this was published, that yeah. has changed to that. But that's good, isn't it? Always sort of looking Absolutely. at stuff and thinking, how can you make it better and, yeah. and simpler to use, I think, for a lot of the teachers. And exactly, and clearer awesome. for pupils as well. Round the back, um, the... Uh, Check this out. This even got its own tools. This is... Absolutely, it's got its own tool set with it because the last thing you want is to suddenly need something and not have it. So we've got a pair of scissors, you'll see why. A yeah. screwdriver, you'll see why. Uh, 30 SWG Nichrome, that's for the kettle element. And um, I think that's 40? 40 SWG copper wire, that's for the fuse. Okay. And the plug socket is connected to um, four millimeter binding posts on the side that we're going to connect to a power supply in a minute. And um, uh, as you would find, you don't need to go into this level of detail with pupils, but as you would find in a real uh, domestic main situation, the uh, neutral wire is earthed. Um, in reality, of course, that would be back at the power station. Okay. Um, but it, it's, it, it's a nice little um, nice little example. But, it, but if somebody wanted to make their own, there's more details in the, um, Absolutely. the physics uh, education, and I guess you yeah. could probably pause this video and study it to really just... Absolutely. You know, uh, uh, yeah, the, the, the building instructions um, are all there in terms of dimensions yeah. and things like that. So once you've actually got it, uh, this, is, this is how you use it. So um, DC power supply, just going to the two uh, binding posts there. It is actually important to observe polarity because the um, positive here is going to become the uh, live wire there. Okay. Not that you need to tell pupils in that level of detail. Um, but that's the setup of the worth getting that the right way around. Okay. And then um, switch on, turn it up, and just left as it is, the person should not be getting an electric shock. And if you use the right nichrome wire and get it up to. Um, that need to be turned on? Just under 12 point. volts. Then you should find, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, turn it on, always turn it on T at the wall. Turn it That's on at the plug socket, just to show that even teachers suffer from the same problem. Okay. Um, turn it on at the plug socket and you'll find about 10 volts or thereabouts. 
Oh yeah, you can definitely see that that's glowing red. Okay, so the, so kettle, the kettle is, is very definitely getting hot. Obviously, there's a uh, there's a heating risk there. You, you'd be doing this as a uh, maybe on camera with a class or with a class a distance uh, away. You don't you don't on. want pupils touching that. Obviously. A minimal minimal. Um, risk. <laughs> it's fairly straightforward. Yeah. Um, so you have that there, and you can then say, right, our kettle is working. It's boiling. The person is safe, even though they're touching a metal kettle, because uh, the current is um, the current is just uh, the, the live is the power supply. Uh, the neutral is the return to the power station. So everything's fine. It's all nicely insulated, as you as we saw earlier. Yeah. So therefore, everything's fine. Now, uh, of course, earth wires um, and fuses are not there for normal use. They're there. They are in case mm -hmm. things. They are there in case something goes wrong. Specifically, in this case, what you're worried about with something with um, uh, a metal casing, and I would have already uh, explained this to the class uh, that um, some things only ha things that are double insulated only need a live and a neutral. Things that have a metal case need an earth wire. I might have shown them uh, something taken apart with an earth wire connected to the casing. So they mm -hmm. know that that's true and that should yeah. be in line with what they understand. What they don't yet know is exactly why that's there in mm -hmm. the way that I teach you. So at this point, you're saying that this could be absolutely fine for years. Switch it on, switch it off, boil a kettle, do what you like. Um, it'll all be fine for years. But sooner or later, as the kettle gets moved around, it is possible you hope it doesn't happen but it's possible that that live wire could just work its way loose on its screw fitting and it might flail around inside the kettle and the thing that you don't want it to touch of course is the metal casing because if you do then uh, this person will present a potential route for the current to go to ground. Okay, so, so just sort of point out on there where the, the current would be flowing if, if it was touching. So uh, w w well at this point you need, to, uh, you need to think about exactly what order you want to do it. This is the way that I do it. At this yeah. point I would say um, with the earth wire connected, the person will be safe, but let's just, to prove to the class uh, why it would be a problem, at this point, probably switch off, yeah. um, undo, this is why we've got a screwdriver, undo the, uh, the screw for the earth wire, take the earth wire out, we've cut a little notch there just to make sure that it stays hooked back out of the way and doesn't oh, that, inadvertently touch again. That's very clever. Yeah. So now the earth wire is disconnected, so now you're showing the class what would happen if the earth wire were disconnected. One thing that's important to point out is that the kettle still works perfectly well. Yep, so it's heating up. So an earth wire is nothing to do with the power supply. I think sometimes pupils think that it's some sort of three-way connection and all three are necessary for the power supply. And they're totally mm -hmm. not. The earth wire is just there for safety. So years and years uh, go by. People use their kettle. The live wire becomes loose. And I'm going to simulate. I'm not going to actually take the live wire off and touch it to the mm -hmm. casing. I'm going to simulate it by just taking my metal screwdriver and forcing a short from the uh, live to the casing and at this point um, you, uh, at this point it's worth pointing out that we still have a fuse which at this point I would have already in a previous lesson taught pupils about as a safety device but emphasize that fuses are for fire prevention not for electric shock prevention fuses oh, prevent fires it's really important to get so, that clear in pupils okay, so I, I think sometimes you get sort of earth wires and fuses they tend to get a little bit um, combined in kids heads and they just think oh it's all generally electrical safety okay so the fuse stops the high current which will cause an overheating effect but it won't but necessarily stop you getting electrocuted so with no earth wire but with a fuse you switch on it all works mm -hmm. all heats up nicely uh, and if you force a, sh uh, force a short from live to the casing, the person is touching the casing, and instead of, as now, the current going from live to earth via neutral, earth back at the power station, mm -hmm. uh, the current doesn't distinguish between getting to earth through here or getting to earth through the person. It just really wants to get to earth. So if you give it the choice of um, uh, going from uh, going to earth via a fairly high resistance element or going to earth through a relatively lower resistance person it will take the lower more of the current will take the lower resistance path and the current will flow through the person uh, notice by the way you can um, unlike in reality you yeah. can actually pause it at this point with the problem happening the potentially fatal problem happening notice that the kettle still works perfectly happily and also the fuse does absolutely nothing to help you because fuses are not about stopping electrocution or electric shock they're about stopping fires and in this case you've got no particular risk of a fire uh, but a person is still potentially being very badly injured so that's okay. a problem so that's why you can't just use a fuse by itself yeah so therefore at this point we reconnect the earth wire which is a little bit fiddly earth wire connected fuse available switch on kettle works force the short and this time simultaneously uh, you can do it a few times um, simultaneously no electric shock happens but the fuse wire melts instantaneously in three two one 
like that. Yeah, and you can you can hear it as well, can't you? And you can hear it, and uh, if you're lucky, you get a few little bits flying off. You can certainly see afterwards that the fuse wire has definitely clearly melted, and even with the socket still switched on, the kettle now doesn't work. So the person uh, is not aware that a fault's happened, but they're safe, which is the important thing. Mm -hmm. Earth wires stop electric shocks, E and E fuses prevent fires and the reason the fuse melted is that of course once you've got uh, once you've forced that short in this case you then have a very large current flowing to earth um, through the earth wire because the earth wire is a very low resistance path back to earth mm -hmm. so a huge current flows through there that current has to come from the live which has the fuse connected in it large current through a fuse that's what melts a fuse that's what keeps you safe so the earth wire stops you being electrocuted and the fuse melts so that the uh, kettle will stop working so this person is alerted to the fact that there's some sort of fault. Fantastic. Very good.